So we're now going to explain the events that occur in cells that result in the production of genetically identical nuclei. And you have to recognize this as one of those genetic questions that can be a little bit tricky. This is a long question. A long question means that usually you want at least about eight points, if not nine points, to get the full amount of marks. So let's get started here. So the first thing that we want to know, um, what we want to talk about is um, how do we get genetically identical nuclei? And the way that it works is that you have DNA replication. Remember DNA replication, which occurs in interphase? That will get you a point. So DNA re replication um, occurring occurs in S phase of interphase. That's very important. That's where the replication occurs to, to form those genetically identical DNA. The, the DNA hasn't separated to become two separate cells yet, but that, this is an important part. So if we talked about the replication of the DNA, then what happens after that? Well, it's actually the mitosis, where the nuclei split to become two genetically identical nuclei. That is mitosis. So mitosis results in two genetically identical nuclei, okay? Good. And now we have to talk about more about mitosis in specific. And remember the four stages of mitosis, which is PMAT, PMAT, so P for prophase, M for metaphase, A for anaphase, and T for telophase. Well, we have to go through them individually first. So the way that I teach this is that prophase has two things which occur, okay? The first thing is that chromosomes, they supercoil. Supercoiling of the chromosomes is just that they kind of like become tight, and they become, um, they be become more visible so that you can see them under a microscope. So that's the supercoiling aspect. The second part is that the nuclear membranes actually break down. The nuclear membranes break down. And you know what? There's, a, there's a, a tricky way to do this, is now that you've done prophase, just jump straight to telophase, and we'll, we'll skip the ones in between. So telophase. Telophase is easy, it's exactly the opposite of here. So, so chromosomes supercoiled back in prophase, so chromosomes uncoil in telophase. If the nuclear membranes broke down in prophase, they're going to reform in telophase. So now we've done the P and the T. So how about the M and the A of PMAT? So we've got metaphase. So metaphase is a bit trickier, but then know that, notice how M for metaphase, so M, everything goes to the middle, because middle also starts with M. So what goes to the middle? So the chromosomes go to the middle. So chromosomes align at the middle, which is the equator, align at equator. Then you've got the spindle fibers, which are on either side of the poles. So if you go here, so we have our spindle fibers here. And then we have our chromosomes lining up like this. And then these spindle fibers, they attach themselves to the centromeres on either side. But they attach to the middle once again. So the spindle fibers, attach to centromeres on either side. So finally, let's talk about anaphase. What happens there? So you can imagine like these are like ropes attached to the hips, attached to the belly buttons of the chromosomes, and you're pulling them apart. So during anaphase, they just travel to the other side.
So you can see that they're attached to the belly buttons and then being dragged apart like that. So in anaphase, chromosomes, or chromatids rather, are pulled to poles by spindle fibers. There you have it, you've got your full set of mitosis as well as a brief mention of DNA replication. We talked about how we needed about eight points to get full marks, so let's count them. So the first one we've got is DNA replication. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hopefully nine, just for allocating prophase to the correct for allocating the different stages of mitosis to the correct stages. Good. There are plenty more YouTube videos for you to check out, just click on the links below. If you'd like to download the questions, as well as the answers, make sure to like us on Facebook first. And finally, if you'd like to find out how I got a 7 in high-level IB biology, make sure to check out our website in the bottom right-hand corner. Thanks.